Made with love for 170 years. When we consider local food icons in Mzanzi, few would disagree that lemon meringue is a dish that has stood the test of time. Another timeless icon, which is also the oldest consumer brand in South Africa, is Bakers for 170 years. They've been bringing us some delicious and quality products purpose made for sharing and entertaining. Now, in celebration of their 170th birthday, Jamie has been inspired to share a dish close to her heart and her home. Her baker's lemon meringue cups are quick, they are easy and of course an absolute treat and she's here to show us how to make these delicious lemon meringue cups so that the celebrations can begin. Do you know what Zoe, I feel like there's a lot of pressure right now. I feel like my ancestors from Calfinia is watching me like don't mess this up girl. We did this every Sunday so I always tell you this but my family, we're very close-knit family, so every Sunday we'd go to church, come home, my, my grandfather would cook, and then we would always be so excited for the afternoon treats because he'd always whip up like this lemon meringue. So a lot of pressure on me today uh, to, give you, to give him Zanzi something a bit uh, that's very close to home. So we're gonna start with the easy bits. Okay. Okay, so you are over there, you have the lemon creams in front of you. There we go. You open it up, and this is the best part, is you get to actually separate the two. So you're gonna scrape off all the inside filling. So you're gonna do that for me as, just get all that yummy filling of the lemon creams in and then we're gonna save the biscuit because that's going to be our base. Okay? There we go. So you can open it up. Open it up. I feel like you need to twist it, but you can just like pull it off. Just pull it off. There we go. It sometimes breaks. Can I yep, put it in here? Fine. Yes, absolutely. There we go. So obviously we wanna save the biscuit mm -hmm. and only this get the so yummy do not use meringue. your teeth for this when you wanna use a spoon. Yeah, because we need to actually hygiene use purposes. that filling. So use that filling and that's of course gonna come off beautifully. There we go. And so again, really this just hits home to me because we would sit around, all my cousins would sit around waiting for our, um, our gr grandfather to take it out of the fridge and then just like, okay guys, it's time. And we would just share all of his memories. Okay. So you're gonna be doing that and then you're gonna also add the milk and you're gonna pop it into uh, the microwave for me for about a minute. Okay. Because then it's gonna add it to the other filling. So we have some cream cheese over here. We have some icing sugar that's also gonna be going in for our filling. And then, the lemon, the mighty lemon is gonna come in. I brought, can you see? I brought all the utensils possibly. <laughs> I was like, don't mess this up. Bring out everything that they have in the kitchen. So you are going to take the lemon and squeeze that in again, just according to how zesty you want it. There we go. So I'm gonna follow your instructions and quickly put this into the microwave. As long as you don't eat any of the... I won't, <laughs> promise. Here we go. So some lemon is going in and then you want some zest as well so here we go use that arm muscle yay i love how the chefs make that look so easy they just go like pra, 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 and then they're like the lemon zest falls and yeah we are like going coming to it a little bit that. more difficult than what it actually is okay so this again is going to be the filling for uh, your lemon meringue and it's very simple it's very easy you can prepare this actually before the time so then you have more time to socialize with your family and just reconnect to everything but you can also do it um while you're sitting there we usually did a bit of both some sundays uh, my grandfather would do it the saturday evening already um, and other days he would actually let us all get in on it and then i was in charge of separating uh, the biscuits <laughs> well i can imagine a lot, a lot of, of eating goes in between like separating the biscuits and actually getting the lemon meringue out tell me yes? is this your grandpa's recipe yes it is my gra a, a bit of variation onto it as well but to the core of it it is his recipe so i'm gonna leave this for a little bit oh actually you bring it in now because you, you really can I stir want. it for you you can stir it there we go stir, stir it as well is so this melted enough um that should be good should okay. be good there you go okay so that's just going to go in throw that in this is now mine to eat I only scraped off half for the exact purpose of being able to nibble while you bake you're my cousin now because mm. <laughs> you're doing that and then we're going to fold this nicely so you can maybe can use your whisk for that mm-hmm and then you're also gonna put in your cream. So maybe Zozo, you, you, you can fluff this in as well. The, the, the best part of this is you can get everyone involved into this. All the grandkids, all the kids. So you're gonna throw that in for me as well. Slowly. Yeah. There we go. Look. Keep whisking. This is where you get your arms. I always wondered, you know, <laughs> like oh, why my grandfather had such big arms not because he was a boxer but actually because he was doing this for us every sunday there we go look at just look I at that color sous chef you just you tell are. me to mock and not do naked 
There we go. Okay, so the best part of the base as well, and I really love this, is because you, we are actually mixing two biscuits. So we're using, obviously, the lemon creams, and we're also using the Eat Some Wars. Oh, I right. can't believe you're combining, like, two of the best baker's biscuits out there. I had to do it. I had to do it. So what we're going to do is, and I'm going give to give you a little top tip as well. Um, and, of course, if you want a list of the ingredients of my Opa's recipe, you can find it at expressoshow.com. But I just want to show you a, a top tip that I've learned as well. Um, and this is where all your anger comes in. Because you know when you were younger, you had a lot of anger because they made you do the dishes after this because who's going to clean up? Who's going to clean up? The cousins. Yes. Which is us. So <laughs> you put it in here. You put it into your plastic bag. And then... Ah, you mush it. Nice little base crumble. So you're going to mix the two and that's what you get. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually put it in there, but it's fine. You can get to eat that. And you're going to mix the two together. There we go. And that's going to be your base. So again, taking all my utensils. And that. And now the base part comes. This is where you get to play around. Everyone gets to get their glass and... You are gonna now you have some fun with the layers. Yes, so your base goes in first. You have a lot of patience for this, eh? Why? You, you had a, lo a lot of time. It was a Sunday afternoon. There we go. And then, of course. Is your mouth watering already? There we go. Well, while you're layering it up, you want that to be your end goal. We're going to top it off with a little bit of meringue. And if you've missed any of the steps to Jamie's family lemon meringue cups, we do have a recap for you. Love for 170 years.